At Cato University, held in Rancho Bernardo, California, Cato Executive Vice President David Bowes discussed, tongue-in-cheek, his forthcoming book, a look at what the Obama administration's officials have to teach us about taxes and when you should pay them. One of the things I have appreciated over the past 10 years or so coming to events like this is that people are nice enough to ask me if I have another book in mind. Um, I wrote Libertarianism a Primer, and some of you know that's been translated into about 10 languages and uh, will soon come out in Italian and Chinese and Spanish and, oh well, no, I guess it's already out in Spanish, and Arabic, um, and it's just out in Persian. So that's been gratifying, but I want to tell you that I do now have another book, and it's called Tax Tips for Democrats. <laughs> and I really think I could make more money on this one because it appears that there would be a big market for it. Um, I went around and I asked top Democrats in Washington, what do you think Democrats need to know about taxes that they don't know? And I was very pleased with how helpful they were in giving me some ideas. For instance, I asked Charlie Rangel, the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, what don't people know about taxes that they need to know? And he said, people need to know that when you get $1,000 a night in rental income from your villa in the Dominican Republic, you have to pay taxes on that. Um, so that's very helpful. And then I asked Tom Daschle, the former Senate Majority Leader, what, what do people need to know about taxes? And he said, well, it turns out people don't know this. When a business associate gives you $80,000 as a consulting fee, you have to pay taxes on that. So that's a good thing to know. And then I asked Tim Geithner, the Secretary of the Treasury, um, what do you think people don't know about taxes? And he says, well, it turns out that when your employer gives you extra money to pay your Social Security taxes and you sign a form acknowledging that's what the money is, you actually have to pay the Social Security taxes. So I think this could be a, a, a very important book. You know, some people say the best thing about electing a Democratic president is all the back taxes we collect from their appointees. <laughs> Helps to balance the budget. But I really think Tom Daschle got treated very unfairly in all of this. He only paid his taxes in order to get a cabinet position, and then he didn't get the cabinet position. So shouldn't he get his money back? David Bose is executive vice president of the Cato Institute. You can learn more about Cato University at our website, cato.org.